Kate's class starts at 11.45 a.m. and finishes at 1.45 p.m. How long is Kate's class? Let's start at 11.45 a.m. and count on in hours. 11.45 a.m. at 1 hour is 12.45 p.m. 12.45 p.m. at 1 hour is 1.45 p.m. This is the time that Kate finishes her class. 1 hour plus 1 hour equals 2 hours. So Kate's class is 2 hours long. Jack goes jogging in the park for 3 hours. He starts jogging at 1.20 p.m. What time does he finish jogging? Let's start at 1.20 p.m. and add 3 hours. 1.20 p.m. add 1 hour is 2.20 p.m. 2.20 p.m. add 1 hour is 3.20 p.m. 3.20 p.m. add 1 hour is 4.20 p.m. So Jack finishes jogging at 4.20 p.m. Lynn starts baking cupcakes at 11.40 a.m. She bakes for 45 minutes. What time does Lynn finish baking cupcakes? Let's start at 11.40 a.m. We can add 20 minutes to get to 12 p.m. Subtract 20 minutes from 45 minutes to leave 25 minutes. 12 p.m. add 25 minutes gives us 12.25 p.m. So Lynn finishes baking at 12.25 p.m. Dan starts reading a book at 5.30 p.m. He finishes at 6.05 p.m. How long does Dan spend reading? Start at 5.30 p.m. Add 30 minutes to get to 6 p.m. We know that Dan finishes reading at 6.05 p.m. So we need to add an extra 5 minutes. Now add the minutes together. 30 minutes plus 5 minutes equals 35 minutes. So Dan spends 35 minutes reading.